let's take a look at how to estimate sums and differences of decimals. Round the following numbers to the nearest whole and then evaluate. We have 6.7509 plus 8.6378 and we want to figure out what is it approximately equal to. The squiggly equal sign, when it's the squiggly one instead of an equal sign, this means approximately equal to. So we're going to use that symbol because we're rounding. Now notice they asked us round to the nearest whole. Okay, well I don't need to look at all of these decimal places to round to the nearest whole. I only need to look at the one decimal place that's after our whole number, right? 6.7. Now here's the rule when you're rounding to the nearest whole number, you look at the one digit after it, well six is my whole number. So the one digit after it would be the seven that we see in the tenths place. If the number after that number is five or higher, right, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then it's gonna round up. So round up means I take that six and make it a seven. That's what I have here, right, because 6.7 seven is five or higher, right? It's higher than five. So that means I'm gonna round it up and my six is gonna become a seven. Now, if this had been smaller than five, right? If it was four, three, two, or one in this place, then I would have kept it as a six, right? I would have rounded down and kept the six. All right, so we're rounding that to the nearest whole number of seven plus 8.6. Well, again, we use the five or higher. And if you think about why do we make it five or higher? Well, five is in the middle. So if it's five or more, right, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, then it's closer to the higher number. If it's less than five, right, four, three, two, or one, then it's closer to the smaller number. So in this case, all right, well, my whole number is eight. The digit after my whole number is that six that we have in the tenths place. Well, six is five or higher, so that means I'm gonna round my eight up to a nine. All right, well now I have seven plus nine. Well, seven plus nine gives me 16. So that means the answer to this is also really close or approximately equal to 16. Okay, 9.0379 plus 6.5058. And again, we want to round to the nearest whole number and evaluate. Okay, so I'm only looking at this 9.0 part. Well, 0, 0.0 means I'm going to round this down to a 9, right? That's really close to just 9. For this number, 6.5. Well, if I look at the digit after my whole number, right, my whole number is six, the digit after that is five, well, that's five or higher, so that's gonna round my six up to become a seven. And now I'm gonna add nine plus seven gives me 16. So the answer to this whole thing is also gonna be really close or approximately equal to 16. Okay, this time we have 7.7051 plus 1.7747, and we're rounding to the nearest whole number and then evaluating. So for 7.7, my whole number is seven. The next digit after that is a seven, right? That's five or higher, so we're gonna round it up, so my seven is gonna become an eight. I'm gonna do the same thing here. My whole number is one, the digit after that is seven, well, that's five or higher, so it's gonna round my one up to a two. Now that they're rounded, I'm just gonna add, well, eight plus two would give me 10, so the answer to the top problem is also really close or approximately equal to 10. Okay, this time we're subtracting. That doesn't change our process for rounding at all. We're gonna still round to the nearest whole number the same way we did, but now we're just gonna subtract instead of adding. Okay, well, 7.1179. So my whole number is seven, the next decimal place is one. Well, one is smaller than five, so I'm gonna round this down and keep it as a seven. Minus, okay, for this one I have 3.3. .3. Well, 
three is my whole number, the next digit is a three. That's smaller than five, so I'm gonna round it down and keep it as a three. Okay, so seven minus three is equal to four. That means the answer to the top problem is also really close to four. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, round the following numbers to the nearest whole and then evaluate. Okay, 7.9819 plus 4.2544. Okay, well here my whole number is seven, the next digit is nine. Well, nine is definitely higher than five, so it's gonna round it up. Now notice when you round up, you change the number. It was a seven, when I round up, it becomes an eight. For the next one, I had 4.2, and then it keeps going. Well, four is my whole number, two is the next digit. Okay, well, if the next digit is two, that's definitely smaller than five, so I'm gonna round it down. Now, when you round down, you don't change the number. You just keep it whatever it was. So I'm gonna round down or keep it as a four. And then I'm gonna add these two together. Well, eight plus four is 12, so the answer to this top question is also really close to 12. 